A Bethlehem homeowner accused of tackling a teenage prankster after a ring and run at his home is now officially off the hook. Jessica Layton was in court when charges were dropped a short time ago, and Jess is live in the newsroom now with more. Benita Daniel Van Plu and his attorneys say they're just relieved tonight. After two weeks of stress for the families involved, the entire court proceedings to drop those charges took about a minute. As you said, it was the old ring and run. A group of teens apparently rang the doorbell of the Delmar home of 37-year-old Daniel Van Plu and his family late at night on Saturday, July 17th. Most of the teens ran away, but Van Plu says he was afraid he was being robbed, and he tackled one of the teens and held him until police arrived. The attorney for that teen's family tells us the boy was badly injured, though he declined medical attention on the scene. Van Blue was originally charged with endangering the welfare of a child and second-degree harassment, but the charges were dropped in court about two hours ago. The judge would not allow cameras in the courtroom, but we spoke with Van Blue's attorney, who says they're just glad to be able to put this behind them and move on. It's obviously been very stressful. There was a great deal of attention from uh, the media, from people. Dan really appreciated the support that he got from people. That really helped him a great deal and helped his family a great deal because this has been a very scary and very upsetting event, and we're just glad to, to finally see it over. The teen involved in this case is the son of Rob and Ann Madio of Glenmont. And Rob actually used to be an employee here at News Channel 13. I called him twice this afternoon, and he either didn't want to talk to me and hung up the phone, or it was a bad service area for the cell phone and the call dropped. In any case, the Madio family has not responded with any comment about the dropped charges. We also reached out to their attorney tonight. We have not heard back from her yet. But when we spoke with her last week, she told us she was disappointed. She felt the DA had caved to the pressure of public opinion following that highly publicized incident. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Layton, News Channel 13. All right, thanks, Jess.